Hi, my name is Arun. Welcome back to my channel. Today, in this video, we are going to discuss about the most frequently asked questions and scenarios in top IT companies and interviews, which is which I have faced recently. So, out of that, two important questions which has come across and it is score might uh, quite interesting. So, we are going to the slide next slide now. Controller advice. They may ask the question is like, uh, how are you going to handle exceptions in uh, Spring Boot? So the answer is a controller advice. Um, so the specialization is to uh, the the component annotation which allows to handle the, across the whole application not just a single component globally it's like a global uh, exception to handle the global exception suppose if you want to define the exception like your employee is not found exception so that exception can be uh, thrown with the controller advice as a global exception handler so uh, and also it is an interceptor of exceptions thrown by methods which the annotation the method which annotation has request mapping so we'll see the code now this is a yeah, controller advice it's a annotation here so expense extends response entity exception handler exception handler here here is a employee not found exception class here i just pass as a parameter which of the class of the exception it is a user i mean it's like uh, user defined exceptions it's, it means there's a custom exception that is defined so public response uh, entity response entity is object user defined exception user defined exception a web request and so you need to define the map link 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 hash map put timestamp tackle stamp now and body message imply not phone and return them so it means that if the employee is not found the controller advise annotation will redirect and pick the error message and display the mess error message to the user so this is called as this is called like how you are going to define the exceptions uh, as a global exception in uh, Spring Boot. The next question is, how are you going to uh, validate this request header? So in a uh, Spring Boot. So in uh, uh, generally whenever you define a class okay and you have a controller you have a model okay and you have the configuration files everything is clear separation so now uh, the question is about how you are going to validate the header validations so you like how you are doing to loop it and how you are going to uh, do it so <clears throat> basically when uh, this is required for whenever uh, the api calls the whenever the api is defined from the front end any call is happen and you need to validate the data whatever the data you have it as a part of the payload so you need to do the validation as part of Spring Boot application. So we have an annotation called validator and in a post mapping you define a, as a parameter as pa pass a, as a parameter of employee and uh, you need to define the what is the name of the header and the value you need to pass them and once it is done successfully done and the response entity says okay then headers are successfully uh, read and successfully has read 
and if they want to send it send, send it to them so this is the do those two these two are the most important questions about a spring boot application almost every interview will ask this questions so just to make sure like uh, these questions are uh, has to be understand and let me know if you have any comments uh, please like share and comment thanks for watching thank you